Um, so I was really excited to be part of the first ever um, Singularity in the Future of Medicine class. Um, when I found out I could take it and have it count towards my degree, it was really exciting for me because it was very different from the rest of the courses um, that I was taking um, towards my MBA, finance, accounting, marketing. Um, so this definitely represented um, a deviation from the sometimes monotonous uh, business courses that I was, I was taking. Um, and it turned out to be just that. Um, I really looked forward to the class. Um, I knew it would be a change in pace um, from not only the rest of my classes, but just from the rest of life. Uh, it was different and unique. Um, every class um, had a different tone, so it wasn't the same all the way through. Um, I really enjoyed not only the diverse and unique speakers that we had, but also the rest of the classmates. Um, there was always a different group of people, it seemed, that would show up for any given lecture, and the half an hour of discussion that we would always have at the end of class um, was very interesting to hear the different ideas and thoughts on the lecture and viewpoints of the other students. So I felt that I got just as much out of hearing what they had to say um, as I got from hearing the, the different lectures. Um, some of my favorite aspects of the class, um, I guess I learned so many new things and was exposed to so many new ideas. I didn't even know what the singularity was coming into the class and now I feel like not only do I have a, a pretty good understanding of it but I've also thought about it um, quite a bit on my own and came up with um, some ideas that I was able to present at the end of class which was uh, a great exercise in um, taking what I've learned and coming up with some some proposals and ideas for how um, we can move forward towards the singularity. Um, really enjoyed just the many, many different perspectives that uh, the different lectures that Dr. Solez brought into the class. Um, Earl Waugh's lecture was really interesting and more philosophical, whereas uh, Shauna Pandya's, I really enjoyed hers too, and it was a little bit more uh, practical. Um, so just a wide scope of, of different topics and different ways of thinking. Yeah, I definitely think this course is, is suitable not only for graduate students, but for senior undergraduates who are, you know, nearing the end of their degree, fulfilled a lot of their course requirements. I know towards the end of my undergraduate degree, um, had, you know, in that last two years you have room for some electives after you've finished a lot of your core courses and you have a little bit of, um, of room to take some courses that you might be taking just for interest sake rather than just to fulfill degree requirements. So I think this course is, would be ideal for anyone who's looking to try something a little different and unique. Um, I think this course is unique not only at the school, but globally. Um, I don't think you're gonna find a course like this anywhere else, and I think that um, students at the University of Alberta are, are really lucky to have this course available to them and should definitely take advantage of it because it's, it's not something you're probably ever gonna have a chance to take, to, to take ever again. Yeah, there's, there's definitely, a, you get exposed to a lot of different concepts and ideas like nanotech, like AI, like the singularity, like entrepreneurship. Um, and I felt that we definitely had enough exposure to each of those top topics for me to get a decent understanding of most of them. Um, some of the ideas and concepts we talk about in class are pretty complex, but I found that the lecturers did a really good job of, um, of translating their their topics to a more general audience, which is this course I think could easily be, be taken by engineering students, science students, um, students in faculty of medicine, uh, business. Um, I come from 
a background of science and business, and I think that um, students in, in in any faculty, arts at, even at the university, would definitely take a lot out of the course and um, come away with it like I did with a better understanding of some really interesting and complex ideas that are pretty important in the world today. Well, the personal stories were probably my favorite part of the course. Um, you know, Earl Waugh's story about growing up and getting bullied and yeah, Jonathan White's, all of Jonathan White's stories were really interesting. I really, really enjoyed both the lecture he gave in class and the lecture um, on YouTube that he gave last year. Um, it's really interesting to see people like Dr. White who, you know, he's a physician, he's a surgeon, he's a teacher, but he also has all these interesting viewpoints and ideas on um, things that are quite peripheral to his, his career, I think, or his day job, I guess. So it's, it was inspirational, I think, to see these individuals who you know, haven't allowed themselves to just do their day job and be complacent and be put in the box, but to um, have develop all these interesting thoughts and um, come here and share them with us. So the stories, like the ones from Dr. Wah and Dr. White that we heard, um, I'll always remember and I think be able to relate back to. Um, and that's something that I, took from the course that I, I really do value. I loved the little, the little robotic dog. Um, it's, it surprised me a little bit because I love dog, like real flesh and blood dogs and I found myself feeling similar feelings towards the robotic dog, which surprised me, but those those moments bring out emotions um, that, that are sometimes surprising. Um, I think another example was when uh, Dr. Orshana Panja came and we did the, the workshops and seeing the group dynamics and how difficult it was to uh, work through some of the exercises and thinking about the, the reason through that, the reasons um, for those emotions. Same with Dr. Waugh's lecture. His story was elicited quite an emotional reaction. Um, and it's, it was moments like that that I think will stick, stick with me. Um, my feelings of affection towards the robotic dog that, that I wasn't expecting to have, but, but were really a, a neat experience, for sure. It's, it feels good to reflect.